Hello, I'm Adam and this is Bosch Zigbee Blinds Controller and let's unbox it. So, uh, this is how it looks. Uh, as I said, uh, this is a Bosch proposition for controlling uh, blinds or light uh, using Zigbee. And that's how it's built. There are parameters how uh, are, uh, what are the limits and possibilities. And yeah, generally nothing uh, spectacular. Uh, let's measure it. And it has 46, yeah, almost 47 millimeters by 22 by, let's say 40. Uh, that's how it looks and uh, okay. uh, now uh, let's talk uh, of uh, capabilities of uh, this thing and uh, I've got uh, prints from the instruction manual showing uh, one the most basic and intended use uh, and uh, I will go for this and uh, the second one is uh, it could work as uh, a Zigbee controller to uh, two standard uh, lamps, bulbs. Yeah, so uh, let's talk about first. Uh, do you see everything? Yeah, let's talk about uh, first uh, what we've got connections and how to connect this. I will try to explain this schematic uh, from uh, right because it will be much easier. We've got L and N, so of course the electricity from socket and there we can see uh, N is going to N, L is going to L. Uh, nothing spectacular. Uh, next, we've got S1 and S2. Those are uh, you should connect those to the blind uh, switch. So blind switches has uh, two switches, uh, one for up, one for down. And those are for those, uh, those uh, switches. Uh, and uh, as we can see on schematics, those are connected to life. So uh, we are getting high voltage on the switch uh, pins. Be aware of that because I saw some other uh, uh, drivers which uh, has only a low voltage signal uh, with the direction of blinds and yeah. Be aware that we've got high voltage on the S1 and S2. Uh, and uh, next we've got uh, the motor connection. As we can see uh, motor connection uh, has connection to PE. It has. I installed them in three pieces and yeah, it works and that's why I'm sharing this idea. Because uh, it's working pretty reliable and I haven't had any issues. Uh, yeah, of course, neutral and uh, that's it. So, uh, uh, from, uh, so we are connecting to motor uh, PE and neutral. And uh, in the Q1 and Q2 we are uh, we are able to uh, put their life. So if uh, we press, for example, S1, uh, the life will be available on Q1, so the motor will spin in a closing direction. If we press S2, so the life will be on Q2, uh, so the motor will uh, spin into opposite directions. Very simple, yeah, just it works like that. Uh, regarding this button, this button is for calibration using Bosch uh, application and uh, uh, to be honest uh, I'm using it with Home Assistant and with Zigbee to MQTT and you don't have to use this button even it's not supported uh, but anyway you don't need to use it I will show later how the calibra calibration looks like and uh, yeah so uh, that's it regarding the blinds uh, support. Uh, now let's move to the another part when uh, it can act just as a, a controller of two independent lights. Uh, generally the schematics is same so we connect everything and uh, switches to the S uh, but at the end we don't got uh, the motor uh, direction 
but we've got only just a lamp connected to neutral and uh, Q uh, pins are intended to use to live appear on those. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I've got already three of them and uh, my plan is to use this as a uh, air vent, uh, motorized air vent uh, controller so I will be able to schedule uh, the bathroom ventilation. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, go to the PC and we have to turn it on. I will just connect the life and neutral wire. Okay, we are in Home Assistant and uh, I have uh, scanned the QR code on the controller and uh, pasted it uh, to computer. And uh, to add this device we have to go to settings, go to uh, tools and we have to press this button to add our installation code. That's a good moment to turn the device on and wait a few seconds and we have to press OK. And now as you can see uh, the device got uh, yeah, found and some errors happened. And now we can see uh, interview started, everything got configured successfully. And why it didn't work? Because as we can see on the uh, and as we can see now, uh, last week there was a, a bug that someone opened. Uh, and if you got a Zigbee to MQTT version uh, 1.36.1 probably the error will happen. Uh, fortunately, I had to do backup uh, to restore uh, earlier version and it worked. So make sure you've got the Zigbee to MQTT version 1.36. And okay, after adding this, we can now set their name to vent controller. And uh, now we are in, and now let's click the light button. And now, as we can see, uh, we've got a pretty similar panel uh, to the shutter, but now we've got, uh, we are able to switch to switches. And of course, if there is a on, oh, as we can see, Oh, it's child lock. And we've got simply two relays which can we operate using the uh, Zigbee 2 MQTT. And yes, as I said, I will uh, use it to control air vents in bathroom and yeah. And of course we are able to uh, connect uh, switches but it's not necessary in my case. Let's go to my bathroom example. And uh, after pressing a uh, shutter mode, uh, you will have a button uh, type to choose. Uh, so if you've got rocker or standard, etc. And uh, now I've got uh, state is open and uh, position is 0%. Yeah, I've got like uh, from 0 to 100% is the brightness. And uh, the calibration, uh, using Bosch uh, application, you just press the uh, button and uh, everything makes uh, automatically. To be honest, I didn't check that. Uh, in uh, Zigbee to MQTT, we have to specify uh, how many seconds it's needed to uh, completely cover uh, the window and how many seconds is needed to fully open the blinds. Yeah. And uh, yeah, in just a normal way, you just count the seconds and uh, set the point where uh, the blinds are almost fully closed. You shouldn't close your blinds to very end, so you don't got those uh, little uh, holes uh, because 
uh, after that probably your blinds are hitting uh, too hard and uh, yeah, it, your hooks uh, near motor may break in blinds if those are not uh, correctly calibrated. So I would recommend, summarizing, I would recommend setting those values to uh, if closing, don't close your blind to blackout, leave just few holes before uh, the end, yeah? And opening is not a problem, you could just open it to a point where you still see the blind, yeah? Uh, and generally those are all the options, that's it. Thanks for watching, please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button, bye!